Hello and welcome back. I hope you've had a great week and you're having a great Saturday. Welcome to another Kmart haul video. Now this video was not going to happen because I went to Kmart with the specific intent of buying three items. I needed, excuse the finger, I needed a, a new cushioned mat for my kiddos to sleep in their crate at night because the other one had been washed a few too many times and gone a little bit flat. You know when you wash cushions and they just go flat and wonky? Well, that's what had happened to them. And I thought, you know what? They're so cute and so cuddly that really they deserve something new anyway from Kmart. So I went to Kmart with the intent of buying a new cushion for the cat crate, um, some new shampoo and conditioner for our dogs because I had run out. And what else? Oh yes, and a new cat scratching post for the cat. And of course, I don't know what happened. I have a few anchor jumpers from prior years that I bought from Kmart. So I have a black one, a gray one, an orange one, a beige one, and a red one. Yes, they're starting to look a little bit ratty because I have loved them and washed them a lot. So although they've kept their shape, they're looking a little bit worse for wear. So when I saw that Kmart had some new jumpers in the ladies' wear, and specifically this style of jumpers, but in different colors, I don't know. I became possessed and something came over me. <coughs> and I ended up coming out with bags of shopping. So if you're interested in seeing what new Kmart haul is all about, then come on with me and I'll show you what I bought. Let's start with the three items that I actually went in there to buy. And these were the new cat sleeping mat for them. And I bought this large one. I don't know if you can see it, it's covering my head. And this is the large pet bed lounge classic. So I'll put the links down below. If you're interested in seeing any of the product that I'm going to be talking about today, I'll put it in the description. Go and have a look at what everything is and how much everything costs because I don't remember. So this is for the cats to replace the two grubby ones. I'll insert a picture up here so you can see what the current setup is for them. And you'll see that they deserve something a little bit better. They're too cute to sleep with something yucky like what they've got. Next, then the other items that I needed were the shampoo and conditioner. I really like these. And these are very economical from Kmart. They're the pet shampoo and pet conditioner with tea tree and oatmeal. They're lovely. They don't suds a lot, which is not something that I enjoy. I end up using a lot more shampoo because uh, I kind of expected the suds like my shampoo does, but it doesn't for them. But they come out and they smell absolutely delicious. Like you want to eat them up or gobble them up, but they're so cute and clean smelling. So these are the two shampoos and conditioners that I bought. And they must have stopped out and I only just restocked this um, only recently because it took me a few attempts at finding it before I actually found it on the shelf. The next item that I went to there to buy was a new cat scratcher. So at Easter, they actually had an Easter themed one. And I was thinking of buying that one, but for the life of me, every time I went into the store, I could never find the Easter one. I must have been looking for the wrong box. Anyway, it didn't jump out and bite me. And we had the Christmas one that um, they've absolutely loved to shreds. Literally, they've scratched through it and ripped it to shreds. Um, I'm going to show a picture here so you can see it. And so they needed something new. And I saw this and I thought, isn't this gorgeous? A box train for them to jump in and play with. And a trick that I use to make them love the box even more, there is a spray that I spray in there for them to love it. Now, I can't remember off the top of my head what it's called, but I'll insert it down below here so you can see what it is that I spray the boxes with to make sure that they actually love the box and they start playing with this one and I'll throw out the old Christmas one that I've been keeping around. I had finally gotten up to date with my ironing and I've realized that I've run out of coat hangers. So I've got the flocked coat hangers from Kmart. I used to buy them from Costco. Um, it came in a pack of 50 and I think it was about 25 odd dollars. I find that the Anko one from Kmart are actually a little bit cheaper. They both snap. If you're rough with them and you put too many layers on them, then they do snap. So I bought these just because we'd run out of the others. So I saw that they had some new hangers, which new to me, I haven't seen them before. Please let me know in the comments below whether they've been around for ages and I'm just, you know, you sometimes you're not in the market for something, so you don't notice it. And then the minute you start looking for something, you suddenly start seeing them popping up everywhere. Like when you're getting married, you normally don't see wedding dress shops anywhere. And then suddenly when you're getting married, you realize that there's wedding shops everywhere but you haven't seen them before i think that's what was happening to me so i wasn't in the market for coat hangers so i wasn't really looking to see what was new 
but maybe I just haven't seen it and they've been there long. Anyway, they're new to me and they are the five tier pant hangers. And these are so good because what they'll do is you can put your pants on one, two, three, four, five rows and it looks very sturdy. And that way it takes up the space of only one coat hanger with the pants obviously being bulky, but they wouldn't take up as much space as five coat hangers with jeans hanging on them. So I'll put these in my wardrobe and show you what they look like once, once I've hung my pants on these so you can see. But these are new to me. I haven't seen them before. Let me know if, they, if you'd seen them prior, but I think they're new. Then to continue on the pet needs, I look up at Daisy. She's uh, 50 months old now. She doesn't like wearing a traditional collar. She tugs on it. And in fact, even our older dog, Coco, she pulls on it. And as she walks, she's tugging on it. And not that we pull it tight. She actually tugs on it herself and just chokes herself. She's pulling along, walking alongside going. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I know. Being silly, but anyway, I don't want her to choke herself when she's going for a walk. She's just really excited and she loves going for a walk with us. So what I wanted to buy them was a harness. Now, Kayla didn't have the traditional harnesses available. They had these novelty ones and I just thought these are so cute. Look at these. They're the dog harness novelty and they're a red and black polka dot and it's got little, little wings on top. Aren't they just too cute? So I bought these, I bought two, one for Daisy and one for Coco, so that they look like twins when they go for a walk, although they're not twins. Uh, one's a black caroodle and one's a tan caroodle. Anyway, these are cute. I think they must be restocking for pets attire because these are the only things that I saw in the small dog section, or we must have a lot of small dogs in my area where I live because they had heaps for big dogs in large XL, extra large and XXL, but they didn't have, they hardly had anything in medium. They just had this, so I bought it because I thought it was cute anyway, and it'll do for a start. Let's go to the women's section. So I'll bypass the kitchenware section because I do have a secret to share with you. Something new that's in the storage section at Kmart in a kitchen items that I swear I have not seen before. I am sure 100% that these are new. If they're not, and again, I'm just blind, let me know, but I'm sure these are new. Anyway, let's go to the clothes first and then we'll go back. So stick around for that. So in the women's section, as I said, I love these jumpers and I've had these for a couple of years now and slowly, slowly I've acquired uh, one, two, three, four, five just from Kmart in this style. And what I like about them is that they're short at the front and then long at the back. So they cover the sections of my behind that I don't want to show. But what they had was these beautiful colors. So, all right, let's get started. The item that I saw that completely, how can I put it, made me become possessed or just triggered my Kmart jumpers addiction. I think that's what I call this video, my Kmart jumpers addiction, was this jumper. Look at this color. It is the new green color. It is gorgeous. I love it. Oh, I've recently bought a shirt in this color and I absolutely love, 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 love this color. So when I saw the jumper, I had to buy it. And this is the funnel neck jumper and I bought it in a size 12 and, it's, and the color is called emerald. It's got a funnel neck that I think I find very flattering. It seems to disguise the jowls that I have and the double chins that I'm getting in my um, chin area. But I love this. It's just such a bright pop of color. I cannot wait to wear it come winter with my white jeans. So what I might do is I might style it and just pop it in the area back here so you can see what it looks like styled with white jeans. So this is the Emerald Funnel Neck Jumper that's going to join my selection up here of the same jumpers from Kmart. Next. Why stop at just one jumper when they have so many beautiful colors, right? So I noticed that they had it in pale blue as well. It is a caro blue funnel neck jumper. Again, look how gorgeous this color is. It's just divine. <sighs> anyway, um, my name is Deborah, and I have a Kmart jumper addiction. Let me know if you're the same. If you find something that you like and then you just go back and buy it every single color, I think this is what's happening with me. Um, anyway, here is the blue funnel neck jumper and these are only $25. So really, you can afford to buy one or two or three or four. 
And a sister had a few more colors. Look at this color. Isn't it a beautiful pink? They call it the fuchsia. I love the color and I love the style. I just, come winter, I live in jeans and these types of jumpers. Right, so I stopped at three of those jumpers. And then next to it, they had jumper dresses. And last year I bought a black one and a camel one. I think I bought the black one when it was on sale, but definitely camel one I bought the start of the season. And I love those dresses. I just wear them with um, white runners underneath. So this year though, I found that the style had changed. Last year, the dresses were quite oversized jumpers. They were very much like this, but long. This year, they've come, look at this color. It's the same pink color as the other jumper, the fuchsia. But this year, they come in a V line and the wool is so soft, exactly the same as these jumpers. It's just so beautiful. It has a drop shoulder, the all drop shoulders, and it has a rolled over cuff at the wrist. So it doesn't hang loose and let air go through to your wrist or up to, up to your arm. And I love this, absolutely love this. I bought this in a size 12 because it looks like it is quite oversized. So I'll try this on and set a picture up here and show you what it looks like. And then right next to it, they had another dress. And this one is a round neck. Now I'm not a big fan of round necks. I find that it cuts me here and it, said, it tends to make me look like I don't have a long neck. So I'm not sure whether I'll keep this. I'll try it on and style it and see if I can make it work for me. But otherwise, I might return this. But this is gorgeous. It is a cable knit style with a V-line going down. So it'll actually be very elongating in the torso. So I think this will be very flattering on any body shape because... It creates the illusion of having broader shoulders and narrower hips because of the pattern. I'll try this on and show you what it looks like. Again, this is drop shoulders and it comes in a cream color. I don't believe it came in any other color. This is called stone and it is a cable dress in stone. It's round neck, drop shoulders, and the sleeves are narrower at the wrist, not as narrow as the other ones. They look like they're a little bit looser at the wrist, not like the other dress. The pink dress is quite snug around the wrist. So I love that feel because I don't feel like the wind is gonna go up my sleeve. Whereas with the stone dress, it's a little bit looser. There's a bit of a gap there. And then over the summer, I had been looking around for bodysuits and I got to cotton on and they didn't, they had them a little bit too low cut for my liking and they had them in colors that I couldn't mix and match with what I had. Kmart has got them in white and in black. I didn't buy them in black because I didn't have my size but I did buy them in white. And what I wanted these for is because sometimes when I wear something that's a little bit higher at the front, you lift your arms and then your tummy is exposed. I don't like that. So I normally wear a singlet, but even sometimes a singlet rises and becomes untucked in my jeans. But with bodysuit, that solves the problem. So I bought this white one. It's a rib cutaway bodysuit in white. And it has the clips at the bottom quite wide at the back, so it's not going to ride anywhere. And it doesn't expose any areas that I don't want exposed. And I also bought it in long sleeves because sometimes it's winter, it's a little bit cold. So it comes in handy to have something along the sleeves. Because this tucks in and snaps, it keeps you all tucked in and warm. So I bought it in long sleeves and this is the crew bodysuit in white, long sleeves, and it was only $12. And while we're in that area, I also needed a new slip. I bought a shapewear slip, but I find that what it does, it rises and it, get, it um, rises up. I think it's probably a little bit too snug. So I saw that Kmart had these lovely body slips that keep everything tucked in and create a nice smooth silhouette for your dresses. So it doesn't hold you in where you can't breathe, but it does get rid of all those little lumps that sometimes underwear can create. And so your dresses, whatever you wear over them, sit a lot more smoothly against your body and don't accentuate any bumps that you don't want accentuated. Right, now, deep breath in. I am working on a project at home. I have a spice drawer that even though and now please, some of you will understand me, some of you will think that I'm a little bit nutty, but I have all my spices in alphabetical order in my spice drawer. And 
Although it's in alphabetical order, and so I can find easily what I want, provided people put them back in the correct spot, the jars that I buy the spices in are all from different brands, and so they don't line up neatly in my spice drawer. And every time I open my spice drawer, my eyes start twitching because it's just, aesthetically, it, it's just starting to annoy me. So when I was browsing through the kitchen section at Kmart, and now I don't know if I want to share this with you because you're all going to go out there and buy them all, and then I won't have any left. But I'm a nice YouTuber. I'll share with you what I bought. I found that Kmart has these gorgeous little glass spice jars. They come in a set of four, and look how adorable these are. The lids have a swivel lid, exactly like a spice jar has. It's got the smaller holes and the larger holes, so larger items can come out, and the lid comes off. Right, so let me open mine up and show you how adorable these are. Look, aren't they just too cute? I'm thinking I might be able to put with my label maker the spice that's in the jar on the lid here and that way I can sit them all next to each other with the labels all sitting neatly and facing the right way down the bottom here but all the jars are exactly the same every single one of them and they're large enough that I think will hold the general contents of the traditional jars that you buy from the spice section at Woolies and Coles so I'm really excited to start converting my spice drawer I'll put a picture up here so you can see what it looks like currently and then when it's finished I'll show you what it looks like when it's all finished so these were in the jar sections at Kmart in the kitchen area don't please don't all run out and get them because then there'll be none left for me. <laughs> anyway, these are a great find. I think these are adorable. You all have the same problem that I have. When you get plastic bags, you just shove them in a container or if you're perhaps like me, you fold them in little triangles so they look neat. Well, um, without me realising it, somehow the section underneath my sink, I have this little bag holder had become congested with all these plastic bags that hadn't been neatly folded and they were just shoved in there. And I just noticed them this week and I thought, thought when I went to the Kmart that I would look for something a little bit more structured. And I saw this container and it is the smooth and shiny narrow plastic tub. It's a five litre container. It's 14 centimetres high by 13 centimetre wide and 35 centimetres deep. That way with handles and it comes with the lid. Don't forget the lid. So what I'm thinking of doing, and I'll insert a picture up here if I finish it this week, is fold my plastic bags and stack them in neatly, put the lid on it underneath my sink, and there you go, all neat and tidy with it, not visible, but contained so it doesn't look messy underneath my sink. So let me think, did I show you everything that I bought? Yes, I think I did. I hope you enjoyed this haul. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And thank you. I'll see you next time. Bye.